need charging. Start your chart analysis and to do that, as I said, just prioritize the title of the graph and 
make sure you put a frame, time frame. So usually what happens is we, uh, when I will be giving you a chart, I will give you a time frame. If there is a time frame, make sure you include that. Okay. So let's see. So for example, this is the chart I will be giving you to analyze. So you can see there are three bars, right? So the yeah, blue one is uh, yeah, I'm talking about pizza, red one indicates the fish and chips, and the green one indicates the hamburger. But this is how your chart will look like for your presentation for the plant paper as well. Uh, so, up to color, even you will be some colors and color will indicate different uh, components, right? And for your final exam, I will give you one of this chart. You will have to analyze that, right? So, this is your question. The light of color shows changes in the amount of time passed for cleansing by Australian villages from 1970. So, this is important 1975 to 2000. So, there is a 25 years of time frame, right? You have to uh, mention that time frame in your analysis, right? In your introduction, you have to mention that. So, how can we do that? So, let's just be, uh, paraphrase this. See what the table just paraphrase so the light graph compares the fast food. So we know it's comparing that and it's a compare which. So what's it doing? It can go into showing the different amount of so open activity change for our compares the fast food consumption of teenagers where it's happening, Australia, so Australia. So you see, I will talk about Australian teenagers, but if you know what I mean is teenagers in Australia, it's the same thing, right? Between the time, a period of 25 years, it can be any time, so all you have to do is your hand, right? So you see the first sentence, the same sentence, all we did is just paraphrasing, right? So that's how you start. So after always struggling with really how to start, so that's how you start your uh, analysis. Asa. That way you have to give us an overview. So you state what main trends are. You can take it to the top of 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 the main trends, main core topic that you can approach. It. I'll give you an example. Do, don't give details such as data here. So to do overview, you don't have to give the data. We will give the data in the detail part. Now at the end of the world, you know, right? And describe what is happening overall. Just give you an overall uh, you know, summary. It's kind of a summary. Are they just going to fix the summary? What the fact that you you are looking at the chart and giving a summary? Right? So uh, here is an example. So overall, the consumption of fish and chips, so I'm not going to dig deep. Uh, you can see that fish and chips are consumption and coming it, right? Whereas Hamburger and pizza consumption to very little. That is my main trend. If I main trend, I need to take both the drastic important and the drastic variant. Over the time, we will take all the variants. We won't be talking about that here. We'll just talk about the main trend, main feature of it. So here, over the consumption of fish and chips decline over the period. Whereas the amount of pizza and hamburgers that were eaten increased. So this is your main, this is your trend, right? How is the main changes that took place over the period? Awesome. So that two sentences can be your introduction, right? See, our chart analysis is usually 100 to 120 words. So it's very clear, you know, at a model approach, basically it's easier. All the letter is more challenged. Why do you have to give all the information with a restricted, yes, with restricted word given, right? So it's more challenging. You don't have to work on the power given of it. So that is more challenging. Okay. But you give the details, so how can you give the details? So you give more specific details in the body paragraphs. You make reference to data. So specific geography question how much data and so open the type. I'll show how. And the key to organize a body paragraph is to group data together and then see whether they have same patterns. So, jitter a group data mana kuchhe, identify similarities and differences. So, J, for example, in, in our for example, in our chart, 
you see these two are one group, the happy group. Why? Because they are having the same kind of uh, pattern. Both of them rise over the time. On the other hand, it has a different kind of trend. So, age grouping for a fellow. What if it was a pie chart? Pie chart, and up, we can just make it a pie chart as well. It's same thing should a pie chart for us. If you time difference like pie chart for us, it will be difficult. Can okay, graph chart for us? Graph chart is same. I can say that. Okay. Short description will be said. So, what's that? Just I'm going to go to a chat. I'm going to go to the senior. So, that is one group. Go to the different. So, that, so you make a difference as well. Charpasta line, it's just three, yeah, three lines. Are. What if there were five or four? Maybe I don't keep, I don't keep how many of them are I don't know. Soda, for example. So, soda probably would like. So, that would be the similarities between them. Because so, after the chart, you have to find out the similarities and similarities for the grouping of maybe there as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so. So, yes, it actually came even down to 40. 40 is very people last year. So, just 100 people used to eat it, and in 2008 came down to 39. Yes. It's my graph analysis, yes. So let's see what what should be our language. So you can say in 1975, see, we are giving the data, right? Because uh, from the chart, you can see the data. So from in 1975, the most popular was school with Australian teenagers. Make sure you write the result in a company language. Australian teenager was rich and cheap. And they still love it. Big is 100 times a year. On the other hand, it was far higher than pizza and uh, hamburgers, which were consumed whatever five times to go. So, approximately five times a year. So, why did we use approximately? Because, see, when well, it's not exact, so I what do approximately do? Do you like So, however, apart from brief phrase, you probably to do if there's a brief phrase, we talk about a brief phrase, uh, to 1980 to 95, that means our fiction chips gradually declined over the 25 years. Blah, 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 blah. Under 40, so it wasn't just 40, it was under 40. So, you see, it came down under 40. If it was just 40, you can just say came down to 40. If it's 40, it would just be you have to write that. That's that's a task to write. Okay, it will give you one paragraph, so second paragraph. Accurate. So as you can see, the focus on fish and chips. I only focus on fish and chips because I saw there's a there's a you know the happy change change between the rapidly decline to which the bar was there. But there are two more foods there. I'm thinking of nothing where I'm going to ignore that food. You have to talk about that as well. They have similarities, so you can actually talk about them together. After that, you can talk about them together. Exactly. There is, if there is certain differences, what kind of differences there? So, in the sharp contrast to this, so why do, why do we write sharp contrast? Because again, that we are talking about how fish and chips decline its uh, eating weight, whereas here I'm going to talk about how it gets higher, right? So that's a contrast, right? So um, um, we said in sharp contrast to this, the AJ phrases, it's better you remember this phrase than you write this phrase. Okay. You know, while you are in your presentation, chart paper, you write in your finals, use these phrases. What? Okay. Teenagers ate the other two fast food at, as, at much higher levels. So it is good fast food, so I mentioned Two fast food, right? Pizza apron, we talked about just pizza, pizza consumption increased gradually until it took over the consumption of fish and chips. 
তারপরে এবে লেভেল অফ কম্পোনেশন সো ইফ ইউ লুক অ্যাট দ্য চার্ট আফটার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এন্ড টুল সেইম উইথ ফর ইট নট নেসেসারি ইউ হ্যাভ টু অ্যানালাইজ দ্য চার্ট আপনার কি বুঝে বাট এখানে ব্যাপার আছে দিস ইজ দ্য ফ্রি রাইট ইটস নট এ ফ্রি হ্যান্ড রাইটিং সো ইউ আর নট ইউ ক্যান নট জাস্ট রাইট व्हाट এভার ইউ আর চার্ট কি বলেছে ইউ হ্যাভ টু অ্যানালাইজ দ্য চার্ট প্রপারলি সো ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম ইউ ডেটা ইজ ইকুয়ালি ইম্পর্টেন্ট information is equally important that's it so you know that we are going to take a little bit of time to well, put more focus on the language but here language is important at the same time data is important <coughs> okay so the biggest phrase was if there is a biggest rise biggest rise was seen in hamburgers as uh, you know as the oceans occasion sorry Locations they were even increased sharply throughout 1970s. So 1970s to 1980s had a sharp rise. So you point out that as well. So I'm going to add a word if you go to the chart. Here. So A kind. So we can see A. This is what they're talking about, right? And then here, this is what they're talking about. So, if I look at the top, this is how they talk. If they talk like this, so, if only there was another phrase, it actually went to this. If I look at the top, it should be flat, isn't it? But if I look at the top, it should be upward again. So, hamburger shop, to which hamburger has the uh, rise, the biggest uh, yes, bar. So, hamburger shop should be upward again. So, these are the small details you have to keep in the bottom corners, right? So, see, fish and chips were too much, but there was a slight. So, Akbar put it down for it. There was a slight uh, right. So, that is important, isn't it? So, you have to talk about that as well. So, when we talk about that, we see that in 1980, it actually declined, and then suddenly there was a slight uh, you know, no. rising. Slight rising in the channel. Fine. For the beginning, we don't see any rising. We don't see any rising. We don't see any complete negative. So I think it kind of you can say a little bit, but that's not significant and not really that significant. So you just have to see whether it's significant or not. And so that is the last paragraph. It has to be very brief, but all the information has to be there, right? Even for your papers as well. Is that okay, Dad? Hey, I will. I'll go 
to stay with it, please. So I have here a sample uh, answer as well, so that you have a clear idea. Uh, I'm not the example, I'll give you a either this chart or that chart. Similar, similar chart, yes. I chart and you want to talk to you. So this is a sample, this is a sample answer. You don't have to put this point over it's just to show us the volume. So first paragraph, if you can see, we uh, actually give a paraphrase of the question, then we, gave, we just talk about overall work of things. Second paragraph, we have the main feature that the show feature to we talk about that. And then there are other features and all, all the small details that goes in the last paragraph. And do you see, we didn't put a conclusion there. So we need a conclusion. So I'm giving you some possible words, some vocabs for these. So adjective, for example, a gradual raise, moderate raise, or decline. So these are the words you can use. Modest, sharp, dramatic, usually see a dramatic right? You can use that word as well. Sharp, slight, steep, steady, steep, significant, considered, graphic. These are the adjectives we usually use for products. So make sure you remember these words and use these. What kind of word we can use? This is the possible uh, noun, so variation, decline, decrease, deep drop, fall, peak, fluctuation, growth. These are for the uh, decline rate, 88 nouns. We can use for the very if something is falling. And then we can use the growth, increase, rise, slump. This we can use for the rise. Right? So, bar bar, actually, what is the bar bar? You have to write, we see a rise there, we see a rise there, right? Instead of saying rise again, we can even say, it's just increase there, we can see a growth there. So, there are different plenty of words available. Possible bar, so raise, jump, grow, climb. Do you see there are some words, different bar, which should be used for different people to use as now, depending on your sense. Don't worry, Jack. Answer. Now, uh, rocket, drop, decline, decrease, go down, plummet, plunge. So, those are the verbs, and these are the adverbs, so gradually, moderately. So, remember, we have got adjective where we gradual and, uh, you know, moderate. So, it's just when you put an adverb, you know, adjective and adverb. So, this is yes. right. So, these are the possible ad adverbs you can use. For it. Right. So make sure you go through this time. You don't have to memorize it. I'm not going to ask you why all the possible adverbs for it. It's just I want you to use it in your writing. Yeah, it can be how a writing book much more better. Exactly. And you won't repeat one word. Johnny act the word and you'll probably write that one word forever. So don't do that as well. So I hope it's clear, yes. Uh, this is going to carry a lot of marks. Ten marks is not very good.